first met Steve at NDSU. I was a freshman and my roommate, she introduced us. Under all of that hair and sideburns, he really was cute. And we were married 18 months later and went to live in married student housing for two years after that. Becoming a father was something that was precious to him. It was always a very fun-filled house, a lot of laughter. Dad is, he was a great dad. He always made sure we followed the rules, but he was also a ton of fun. I went to NDSU when Steve did, so I knew of him as student body president. Really didn't know him personally then. And then I kind of followed his career into the legislature. It was actually his last term, and it was my first term in the North Dakota legislature. I met Steve then, and uh, he was a great mentor, a great help for me as a freshman legislator. I met him shortly after I was here, maybe four or five months after I was here. And uh, I don't know, we, we just seemed to hit it off. Steve literally was the first person I met in Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, he was the chair of the search committee for the presidential search at NDSU. And as the chair, he came to the airport to meet me. And uh, it's been a really interesting experience ever since. He started at Gate City, I think a little over 40 years ago. And he has been with Gate City ever since then. That doesn't happen very often uh, these days. Becoming CEO and president here was kind of the culmination of all the work he'd done before, and it allowed him to develop his own ideas and, and come up with things that he thought were important in the business world, as well as being able to contribute in the community. He is uh, creative. He is innovative. He is always thinking about what's around the next corner. What he has done for Gate City Bank has been such an amazing impact in how he's made the bank grow over the years. As president and CEO of the bank, he has brought the bank to new heights that we never expected. A huge um, accomplishment of Steve's is Gate City Bank being named one of the 50 best places to work for six years in a row. And that's a testament to his leadership. Our Better Life Student Loan Program, how that's made a difference for young people trying to buy a home. When I look around the bank and see the women in leadership roles and Steve's efforts to really change that within the bank, and just the overall culture he's created of creating this environment where we're trying to do meaningful things, give back to our communities. His involvement with NDSU is, is across the board. Uh, really incredible through the Alumni Association, through the foundation, uh, through leadership roles with the foundation, search committees. I could go on and on and on. There's not much Steve hasn't done to support NDSU's success. The beautiful Gate City Bank field at the Fargo Dome, the renovation of Stevens Hall Auditorium to the Gate City Bank Auditorium at Stevens Hall, to the fueling station at the Shack, to Barry Hall Classroom, to making sure that all international students are feeling welcome in our community to the renovation of the union. What he does is go around and try to solve things. His involvement at the YWCA with women and children, near and dear to both of our hearts. He has invested in YWCA activities for the better part of 30 years. When I asked Gate City Bank to make the largest investment in YWCA history of $1.5 million to make certain that there would be supports at Grace Garden, our YWCA supported residents in West Fargo, I remember the moment he called on behalf of his leadership team and indicated that they were gonna pledge that support. He has served in so many different capacities you know, it's hard to name just one, but that's what makes a leader. That's what makes a community leader, and that's what Steve is. He's a very genuine, empathetic guy who cares deeply about people around him and who he works with. Steve is competitive, uh, has a very strong sense of urgency, um, I always admire him. He has such a, an aversion to complacency. I also love his courageousness. He's really fun and he's really silly. Steve's a little quirky. He's unique. Do you know any other 60-year-old men that don't have combs? He is very mischievous at work and at home. It's his middle name. He has a dry sense of humor. 
We always start our day off with an uninspirational quote like, uh, Kim, just be yourself because no one else wants to be you. <laughs> if you never believe in yourself, you'll never let yourself down. You're a natural born leader, but no one's following you. Kind of like the big brother that's always kind of poking you in the side and giving you a hard time. Dad is type A. He's a go-getter, he's an achiever. Go, 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 let's get things done, let's move it. He's a real early bird, so when most people are showing up for work, he's uh, on his lunch break. And it's not uncommon to get an email from him at 4, 405, 430. He always wants to be the first one here, and so whenever you do meet, meet him here, there's usually some type of rhetorical comment about, you know, what happened to you, did you get a new job, why are you here early? Growing up and throughout my life, if you were not five minutes early, you're late. Even though our meetings are scheduled to start at 7.30 in the morning, I would say as a rule, we probably usually start at 7.15. My dad is the only person I know who will be late for a function or a meeting because he's occupied keeping um, phone scammers on the line. What he will do is sit there and talk to them as long as possible so that they can't make another phone call or they'll get sick of hearing from him so they'll hang up and he will proceed to repeatedly call their number back to the point where they'll end up blocking him from their list. Steve usually has a crazy pair of socks on every day and it's really fitting of his personality. I'm a, a, a very, uh, uh, what he would probably call a pretty vanilla dresser when it comes to socks. But now in honor of, of today, I did, now if you can get this on film, I do have some socks that add a little color in my life. Steve's also a real big um, fireworks fanatic. When he does a fireworks show, it goes on for two hours. It's one of his only vices, to be honest. He will spend much more money than I will share with you on fireworks. It will fill the entire car. I can't tell you how many free hot dog dinners we ate at Star Fireworks as a family. He used to put on a headlamp and a little safety vest that had reflective uh, little uh, ribbons on it. And I believe my sister and I put in duct tape explosive on the back of it. His granddaughter had painted his fingernails. She made him promise not to take it off before the next board meeting. So he showed up at our next board meeting and was very proud of it. And we all got a huge kick out of it. Steve values this award highly because it is a recognition by his peers of what he has done with his career and with his life. You'd be hard pressed to find somebody who's more sincere, who's more passionate, uh, but at the same time, uh, more professional and more focused. Uh, Steve kind of is the, the whole package, if you will. Steve is so deserving of this award because of his commitment to the financial industry, to his community, and because Steve has such high standards. He's like the coach you had in high school. He's obviously always trying to make me a better person, and I always admire him for doing that. Steve's deserving of this award because of the commitment that he has to providing a better way of life. He does that through his time, his talents, his wisdom, his innovation. Steve's a straight shooter. He's not afraid to roll up his sleeves, get the job done. He gets involved, he urges others, and, and really mentors people to become the leaders of tomorrow. To me, there's really no one that fits better the description of what this award is. Um, it perfectly describes who Steve is as a leader and who he is as a person, and it perfectly describes what he's done for the bank, our customers, and our community. Congratulations, Steve, on the Legacy Leader Award. Your care, compassion, and commitment to the community is evident in all you do. Thank you, Steve, for being a wonderful leader and mentor. You completely embody everything this award stands for. Congratulations. Congratulations, Steve. There couldn't be a more deserving person for this award. Thank you for everything you do to provide a better way of life for our customers, our community, and our team members. Congratulations. Congratulations, Steve, on winning the Chamber's Legacy Leader Award. On behalf of Jan and I, we want to really, really congratulate you on this award. And on behalf of the Board of Directors of Gate City Bank, 
We know you've got a lot left to do, so keep up the good work. Thanks, Steve. Congratulations, my friend. Congratulations to you, Steve, on winning this prestigious award. That you've made this a better state, a better region, a better city, and a better university, as well as your leadership of Gate City Bank. I can't imagine a greater legacy to leave. Steve, on behalf of the Chamber's Board of Directors, our staff, and our over 2,100 members, I want to congratulate you for being this year's recipient of the Legacy Leader Award. Your leadership in this community and within Gate City has led to much progress in our region. Congratulations, Dad. You are an amazing father, an amazing leader, and I couldn't imagine anyone who deserves this award more. Steve, you are the love of my life, and I am so proud of you. Congratulations, we love you.